session on Access Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a disk break rotor for transient thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on transient thermal. First, we will go to engineering data and double click on it. I will go to engineering data sources. The material that we have chosen for disc brake rotor analysis is stainless steel. So I will choose stainless steel from here. Go back to project and update project. The model of disc brake rotor has been created. So I will directly go to geometry, right click, import geometry of the disc brake rotor. Then I'll go to model and double click on it. I first go to geometry and I change the material to stainless steel. Next I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing from coarse to fine and update. Next I'll go to transient thermal. Here I'll go to analysis settings and I'll be making certain changes in these settings. So the number of steps I'm choosing as one, current step number one, and end step time I'm choosing as 10. Auto time stepping, here it is program control. I will change it to on. Defined by time. Initial time step I'll choose as 0.1. Minimum time step I'll choose as 0.1. And maximum time step I'll leave it to 0.1 second. So these are the changes that we have to make. Because this is linear analysis. After this, I'll go to transient thermal and right click. I will insert temperature. I will insert temperature on this face. And also on this one. So I'll press Ctrl and select both the faces. And apply. It is asking for temperature in magnitude. So, since it is 22 degrees Celsius, it means it's a constant value. I'll change this to tabular. We will start with time 0, temperature 0. Next, time is 1 second. I'll give the temperature as say 20 degrees Celsius. This final temperature actually I'm going to give us 200. So next after 1, let's go to 2. And here let the temperature be 40. Then I'll go for 3 seconds. Here I'll give the temperature as 80. For 5 seconds, I'll give the temperature as 120. For 7 seconds, I'll give the temperature as 160. For 8 seconds, let me give the temperature as 185. For 9 the temperature, let me give the temperature as 195. And for 10 seconds, I am giving as 200. You can also give this as 220. So that's how I am changing these temperatures. I am starting from 0 up to time 10 seconds. Next, I will give convection factor to the entire body. So I'll just choose body option, select the entire body and apply. You can see here one body, the entire body has been selected. I'll give the film coefficient as say 0.01 watt per mm square degree Celsius and this is at ambient temperature. Next I'll go to solution and I'll insert thermal temperature. Also I'll right click and insert thermal total heat flux. I'll go to solution and solve. You 
you can see here this is the temperature variation over the disc brake rotor the maximum being to 20 degrees Celsius that is what we have provided and the minimum you can see here is 17.138 degrees Celsius over the body at any point if you want to check the temperature you can use this option of pro you can go to that point and you can select you will get the temperature at that point so that's how you can check the temperatures if you want you can also click on max min you will figure out where the temperature is maximum and where it is minimum also if you want to see the temperature over a particular patch of area so you can just change this geometry by selecting the space select the space here and apply and solve so you can also find the temperature change over a particular patch to the right when you see you will see that there is all these readings that have been created because i have given time step as point one so it is taking a difference of point one we started at zero then it went to point one point two point three and accordingly the last reading will be 10 seconds because that's what we have given maximum time is 10 seconds so this is over this patch you can also get the reading over the entire body over here if you want to save this data you can just right click on it and you can just export this data this will be saved as a text file as you can see here so you just have to click on save and it will be saved next we will see the total heat flux this is the heat flow over this body the maximum value of heat flux is 2.0377 watt per mm square and the minimum value is 1.8146 into 10 raised to minus 7 watt per mm square so these are the maximum minimum values you can also see here since these probes are still on you can see where the value is maximum and where it is minimum if you click on this max and min once again those two options will disappear what you see over here is a graphic annotation of the point that i had clicked on to see the temperature so if you select a particular point and see its temperature it will be highlighted at the bottom over here you can see its x y and z location you can see what is the value of temperature at that point if you don't want to see this you can just click on close but if you close it it is possible that in the next analysis that you do this window itself may not appear so it is better you just go and click on graph so from graphic annotations you come to the window of graph now here you can see a graph which is very beautiful we will just slide this up a bit you can see here this is a variation of temperature over this body these are the minimum values which are shown in red and the green values are shown over here so if you just click on this minimum value you can see here variation of temperature shown in green this is the maximum variation of temperature over the body and the readings are over here again if you want to just export this data right click and you can export all the data the option remains the same if you want to see the red line again just click over here minimum values will also appear so this is a graph which has been generated for this thermal analysis for the disc brake rotor now once we are done with this transient thermal analysis i just add one more part to it i'll go to static structural and drag it over the solution i just want to show you there is something called as multiphysics that is you can take the data of one analysis into the other and see its effect so whatever effects you have created because of a temperature change or because of convection over the body you must have got some load over the body so when this preload is taken into the next analysis that is of static structural you will find some sort of load so i'll show you that this much is what we have already created till the solution a6 now we are going to static structural b5 here in analysis settings you can see these readings are already there i'm not going to this part of it 
I will show you what is imported load in this lecture. Imported load, you can see here imported body temperature. So just right click on it and import the load. So what happens is whatever effect you have created over the body, you can see here this temperature is being imported into this analysis. So you can see the effect of one analysis on the second analysis. Now once this is done, you can just click on the three options so that this disappears. I'll go to static structural and I'm going to insert pick support on this body. Apply. Also, there will be pressure from both the ends. So I'll select this face and this one and right click insert pressure. I'm going to give 0.5 megapascal from both the sides as we have already done before. Now, rather than giving both sides together, what I'll do is I'll just select one face and I'll give pressure again from the other side. Otherwise, it shows a cumulative effect. So, it's better to show separately on both the sides. So, now you can see pressure 1 is applied on this face and pressure 2 is from this side. And also, there will be a rotational velocity on this face. So, I'll right click and insert rotational velocity. Magnitude is say 55 radians per second and axis is the surface apply. I'll go to solution and I'll insert deformation total. I also want to see the strain over the body and the stress. Stress is the most important value that we want to analyze. You can just animate and see the result. Maximum value of deformation is 0 0.24546 mm. We will see the strain, it's very less 0 0.00670. This is the maximum value of strain on the body, and the minimum value is 7.187 into 10 raised to minus 5. Again, you can animate and check the result. The last and most important value that we want to study over any body is going to be its stress generated. So here you can see there is 1281 megapascal. This is the maximum value. Minimum is 5.843. Also you can see here where the value is maximum and minimum over the body. I click on max min. So you can see there are certain zones where the stress is maximum, where the area is less. And on the other areas, you can see the stress is very, very less. And this color which you see here is approximately here. So it is 289 megapascal. Again, the value is quite less. It is not that high. But only these zones are going to be a little critical where the value is 1281 megapascal, which is quite a high value. So that's how you analyze a body for transient thermal analysis. This is a disc brake rotor that we have studied. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubt, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.